Hey guys, this is Kelly from Beginner Aquaponics. Hey, I wanted to give you guys an update on a filter that I had made, uh, which is what you can see here. It's just a real simple home brewed system. This is my inlet, which is one inch, and uh, this goes right into the top of my bucket. I'm just using two uh, screw together fitting, uh, one inch screw together fitting. I don't know what, what the technical name is, but uh, it's just a type that screws together. And then I've got a one inch outlet, and that just goes to a 45, and this dumps right into my uh, sump. So let me show you what's inside. Uh, well, let me first show you this lid. On this lid, I'm using a uh, food grade lid, and the only difference between a food grade lid and a regular lid is the fact that it has a rubber gasket on the outside, which is what this little black piece is. So it creates a watertight seal, so you definitely want one of those. Uh, on the inside here, um, I've got some rock, and this is not all the rock I have in here. I have some more. I dumped it out, but um, normally this whole bottom is filled up with rock. But um, from here, I go from one inch to half inch, down to three quarter inch, um, or excuse me, um, quarter inch, not three quarter. Uh, I go from there, and let me pull this out so you can see this a little bit better. Here, <clears throat> go from the quarter inch, and then I go over to the quarter inch uh, 45s, and notice I have the 45s pointed opposite directions. And what this does, it causes the the water to turn um, in a single direction, uh, and this kind of just pulls all your stuff and keeps your large sediments at the bottom. And here, I just went from you can see a half inch down to a 45 elbow or excuse me, um, a 90 degree elbow to a, a quarter inch and then to there. So um, here in the bottom I have that completely full, well I put this in here first, and then I fill this completely full of lava rock, um, enough to cover this about an inch. After I do that, I've got, I went to Home Depot and got this um, blue carpet stuff. They actually, it's used for um, AC, HVAC systems for filtration for your air. Uh, it's waterproof. Um, it's made out of some type of plastic. I don't know if you guys can see through that, but um, it is um, kind of dense filtration. Works really well. You can see I got some small rocks and stuff in there from my grow bed, but what I did, let me grab another one over here is I cut a whole bunch of round ones. I put a slit down the center of each one of them. Here's three more. You can tell this one's been dirty. I've been using this one for about a week and this catch caught all my um, junk and stuff from my system. Um, what I did, I had this one on the bottom and then this one went on top of this one and then finally I put my third one. And uh, I just stacked these in there and then when I'm done, I had a whole bunch of, this comes in a square sheet too, by the way. Uh, when I was done, I had a whole bunch of these little pieces and remnants over. So I just kind of threw them in top of each other, kind of like that. And um, just stacked them all in the bucket. And uh, that way, I had multiple layers of filtration. Um, and I was noticing this worked out really well, as you can see, it caught a lot of dirt. but. Uh, I wanted to catch a little bit more. I was noticing a little bit of debris in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and add a little bit of play sand or just regular sand uh, to the system. I'm just going to I'm going to put, go ahead and put my lava rock in just like I have. But on top of that lava rock, I'm going to go ahead and dump about four inches of um, sand. I think will work on top of that. And then I'm going to put my mats on. And then I have about a dozen of these fairly large um, stones that I stack on top of there uh, to keep them floating. So uh, let me dump all this out, get it cleaned up, and uh, I'll show you how I put it together. So I'll be back in just a few moments. All right, so I went ahead and put all the lava rock in there. I've got a few little river rocks in there but that's not a real big deal but I went ahead and add the lava rock and as you can see I've got it covered to where that pipe's not showing no more and then I've just got some regular old sand here that I'm going to put in here 
what I'm hoping with the sand is that um, it adds some finer filtration. Um, so we'll go ahead and fill this up a little bit and kind of get that where it looks somewhat decent. There's about six handfuls or so. That looks pretty good. Maybe we'll throw one more in there. There's one more. Brush all that off. So, there's what we got. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and take my first mat and put this down. So, as you can see, I've got some gaps along the sides there, which is not a big deal. Don't worry about that. That's where you come in with your second filter. And what you're going to do is just turn that one the opposite direction. That way it overlays. See, now we're eliminating all of the gaps. So we'll go ahead and repeat the process with the rest of these filters. And just remember to turn them about 75 degrees, your slits at least, opposite of each other. So this one will go in this direction. That one was 180, but hey, that's all right. So these little scrap pieces that we were talking about earlier, let's go ahead and throw those in here on top of all this. And this is just giving a place for all that bacteria to grow so it doesn't go through your entire system. And it's all right to have a couple of random pieces like that. So there you are. So now what we're gonna do is take some of this bigger rock and we're just gonna throw it on top. And all this does is weighs this stuff down so it doesn't blow through the entire system and we don't want any of that sand to come through. So this is gonna hold all that down. Here we go. I might add a few more, but that's basically all it is. So what we'll go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'm gonna pull this around to the hydroponic system and I'll show you how we hook it up. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right guys, so let me show you how I have this um, filter hooked up. Um, as you can remember from my previous videos, I've got this water line that runs through the middle of my grow bed up to my water tower. And um, if you guys didn't see the video on that water tower, I'll put a link below um, to another video or to the side or something. I'll, find, I'll put it somewhere in this video uh, where you can see why I did that and what the purpose of it was and all. But uh, anyways, I went ahead and I moved this valve back. It was up here, and I moved it back here. Uh, this way I can control water flow, right? And uh, what I did was I put this T in here. Now notice I had the T going up. Uh, I had it coming out the bottom, and what would happen was all the water would come in here and straight down. It wouldn't go across and come out here and in the melt water in my water bed. So what I did was I made it go up, and I put an elbow in, and then I put another elbow to go back down. And that goes down there to my pump, or my, excuse me, to my filter, uh, which just plugs into that one, one inch inlet that I showed you earlier. And uh, you're probably wondering what this blue thing is. And yes, this is just a thing, I just use it to plug the hole. But what I did, or had to do, was I just drilled a little, um, I think it was 12, 30 seconds or something. It's not very big, maybe 24, 30 seconds, I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, but anyways, I just had to drill a little hole there. And this is my downspout. And the reason I did this was, what was happening was water would come through here and come up here and then it would go straight down. And what was happening was that water was being sucked down and it was causing it to go straight around and it wasn't allowing it to pass through still. So what I did to break siphon, I just drilled a hole here. Uh, I had it here originally and it didn't, it just spray out water. But since I had it here, what was happening was it was just coming across here and then going down and this broke siphon, and I didn't have that immediate up pressure. So, uh, a little learning curve there, but like I said, just go straight down and down, and I have that just plugging it so no debris gets in there. Uh, but that took care of my siphon, and uh, I've got a ton of water coming out here. Um, I'll probably change this up a little bit. I would like a little bit more out of there, but if I turn this valve up anymore, um, it puts too much water through my filter, 
and actually fills my sump up and completely drains my reservoir. So uh, I kind of got a good mixture here. It's right at the max of what I want um, for now. But like I said, uh, in this downspout, I'll probably add a um, another ball valve in that just to slow down some water. So it pushes more pressure out this way. So uh, anyways, like I said, this just goes down straight into the filter, the one inch inlet, and then it comes out into the sump. So uh, give me just a minute and I will show you the results. See you in a minute. All right, guys. Uh, sorry for the darkness out here. Uh, apparently, my last video take didn't happen. Um, I guess my camera glitched or something. So I'm out here re-recording it. Uh, this has been about an hour. Um, you can see the water. I don't know if you can see that very well, but the water is coming out really, really clear. Um, and it's really cleaned up that water bucket. Um, and like I said, it's been running for about an hour. The only pointer I can tell you on this is make sure you take your outspout coming out of the filter when you first hook it up and divert it outside the pump. Uh, because when I first turned this on, I had a whole bunch of brown junk come out. I guess it was just dirt from the sand. Um, so once I got it filtered and it was started running clear, I put it back in here and it's actually cleared this water up very well. So, um, like I said, just make sure you flush the filter before you actually uh, put it into effect. But um, like I said, it's been running an hour. It's looking great. I'm really pleased with it. Um, I'll give you guys another update on uh, on uh, cleaning it when it gets dirty. Hopefully in about two weeks, three weeks, I can make it that long without having to clean it. But um, I'll let you know as soon as I do it. Uh, happy gardening!